Dikembe Mutombo is literally larger than life in terms of his figure, but both, and also for his remarkable story, as well as his sheer physical size. In 1987, Mutombo came from the U.S. from his native Congo to study medicine at Georgetown University. His seven foot two height naturally drew attention, and he was recruited in his sophomore year to play basketball for the Hoyas. He went on to the NBA, became a great defensive player, and last month was inducted into the Hall of Fame. But Batumbo has distinguished himself off the court as well, working with charity groups around the world, including his own Dikembe Mutombo Foundation. He's also the NBA's first and only global ambassador, and it's in that capacity that he joins us to talk about the upcoming NBA season, which tips off on Tuesday. Dikembe, good morning. Good morning. As a fellow Hoya, I especially welcome you. <laughs> yes, I like that. <laughs> first of all, how does it feel to be in the Hall of Fame? It feels great. It feels a little bit different. You're like a new person. Really? Because everywhere you go now, everyone want to come see just Ball dancer, congratulations. <laughs> I feel like I'm becoming a Chinese. <laughs> well, you know, we mentioned you started off in medicine, so how did this all start for you, basketball? Um, you know, I really didn't want to play basketball when I was young. Um, it was like one of those games that I really disliked so much, and uh, it was not until like my senior year, my brother kept challenging me to play a little bit. Then I stopped playing, then I did, I stopped. And I said, I have to focus on my study. Then I came to America. And it was not until my sophomore year that uh, everything changed. John Thompson found you at Georgetown and said, why don't you come play? Come here, son. <laughs> <laughs> I you... can make you rich. <laughs> oh, is that the promise? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about it. Because, I mean, you, you entered into the NBA a little later. You were a little bit older than most yes. guys who get recruited. When did the finger wag start? It really didn't start like until my second, my third year. It's not like I plan about it. It was just one day in the game because I used to shake my head every time I would block the shot. Yeah. And I felt like guys was not getting the message and they was not respecting me. They still trying to come and dunk on me. Mm -hmm. I said, maybe if I tell them you cannot fly in the house on Mutombo, they will stop. <laughs> and it's important because I know that when you demonstrate this, it's not this, it's... No, yeah. it's only it's the thing that I'm on. <laughs> and I read you, you paid a lot of money to keep this. I mean, you were fined heavily. I think that's the reason why I'm working for the NBA, because they are trying to pay me back. <laughs> <laughs> and what did the, I love the Geico ad. And yes. What did, that must have gotten you even more attention. I think uh, the Geico guy, um, ad that just kind of took me in another level. It did. Um, maybe it's the, the new generation who didn't know that much about the Kimi Mutombo, mm -hmm. they end up learning so much about me now. I want to talk to you about the NBA season right now. Yes. We're sort of on the eve of it. And I, I saw Patrick Ewing said, I don't think we've seen any other player do as many great things away from the game. When did that start for you, your, the realization that you wanted to do more? I think uh, it started with from the commissioner, David Stern, when he, he created the initiative of NBA Care under Cathy Barron and um, brought this initiative that we have to make this thing global. We have to change the world. Our players need to go where the game is being played, where the game is being watched. And then today we are almost uh, in all of the continents. We are making differences. We're building school. We're building playground, learning center. And that's what NBA is all about. We want to have a big impact than any sport. What do you see for this season? Do you see, do you see the Cavs getting back? Do you see LeBron getting back to the finals? Do you see Golden State winning again? Uh, you know, I live in Atlanta, so I don't want to try to be biased here. But uh, <laughs> it's going to be a great season. There's a great team, and so many great teams made an adjustment. The Clippers, the Lakers, Atlanta Hawks, Miami Heat, Cleveland still there, Golden State. Don't forget about New Orleans. So. Yeah. It's a lot of great team up there. You didn't mention the Knicks, but I just... Oh! <laughs> I just, I just could, LeBron, could, could, name them all. Could, LeBron, <laughs> could LeBron James have dunked over you? Yes, he tried. A few times. But he just couldn't climb my Motombo. <laughs> the mountain is a little bit high. Mount Motombo. <laughs> Did he get the finger wag? Of course. A uh, few times. <laughs> Dikembe Motombo, thanks so much for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. We'll give you one of these also. Thank <laughs> yes. you for coming. Thank you. <laughs>